pity guys. <laughs> pity guys. Ah, foos. I pity the foo. <laughs> Yep, you want to come help me finish that that pig shelter? <laughs> okay, let's go finish it before the rain comes. Good morning, beautiful people. It is not nearly as hot and humid as it has been today. We're supposed to have, well here, let me, let me point the camera in that direction. All of that ominous gray darkness is thunderstorms headed this way. I've already seen some lightning, so I don't know how long I'm gonna have out here before I'm forced inside. But that's fine. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video, uh, I was building a pig shelter. Got it almost all the way done before I ran out of light and uh, the mosquitoes forced me inside. Oh man, I think I got 50, 60 bites on my arms. Maybe not that many, but you know how it feels summertime in the south. There's the pig house. Most of the way there, I'm gonna cut up this sheet, put some sides on it and a back. Um, if I have a scrap left over, which I don't think I will, if I have a scrap left over, I'll put it in the front right there, that little section. But mainly, I just need sides. If I can't get a back, that's fine too. I just need the sides. Uh, the only bummer with adding some siding is it's going to make it heavy. But it's not the end of the world. It's not a deal breaker. So I'm going to get cutting before the rain comes. Oh, supervisor's here. So here I am getting in a hurry, trying to get this done, not paying attention. I just cut two of the same side. I was supposed to cut a left and right, and I cut two lefts. Two lefts don't make a right, but three do. And my remaining piece is not big enough to get the other side, so I either have an ugly side out, or... Or back to low. No, I ain't buying another piece. Like, I have enough to finish it, and it's just a pig house, so it Ultimately doesn't matter, but uh, yeah, don't get in a hurry. I suppose what I could do is I could actually, uh, I could still get my strip for across the front. Well, I'm gonna need a strip for across the back. That's what I'd really like to do. Well, I guess I'll just, uh, no, I'll just put a strap behind it and I'll use the cut piece we just cut. Okay, well, teach me to get in a hurry. Yeah. Mo's gonna be real upset when he sees this thing cobbled together. I think what's funny is when, when we walk out there without food, that pig, he looks so judgmental at you if you don't bring a bucket. He just sits there and he just like... Like, it's the most ridiculous thing. I, I should actually take the camera out there. It's kind of hilarious. He just he just turns up his nose at you. Can you just both these off, guys? I think I could. Aha! See, I can save on material. I don't mind that. I can use both of those for the for that piece. I'll just put a backer on them so they stay together. Crazy. Alright, ugly side. Thank <laughs> you. 
get sprinkling. Alright guys, I don't know how much longer I can leave the camera out. And it's starting to sprinkle. Hopefully it doesn't just open up and pour on us. Head for cover. All right, I'll get here real quick before the rain really comes. There you have it. One ugly side. We'll just make sure we only film from this side. Like, see right there? Boom! Thumbnail. Ha! Hey, you know what? We show our mistakes too. Sometimes you get in a hurry and you make dumb mistakes. I think what is even more painful is I actually had the conscious thought of, hey, Maybe don't cut it that way. Flip it over so you have a left and right. Yeah. Anyways, I'm human. What can I say? One pig house. I actually like that one. I like the way that one turned out. That's kind of cool looking. All right, the camera is starting to get wet. I guess uh, it's time to head inside. Quick, sister. Making a break for it. Mama, it's freaking outside. Oh, it is. It's yep. raining. Okay, oh wow, I was so into this editing. I didn't even know it's raining. Yeah, camera's all wet. I gotta sit down with a towel and dry this oh, camera yes. off. Okay. But I'm done. Oh, yay, good. How about you? How close are you done? Uh, not quite. Still got a little bit. I'm all wet now. <laughs> you know what? I changed my shirt because I was all sweaty from doing chores. Yeah. I went out there and it's like, man, it feels really cool. Oh. Um, I'm not hardly sweating, but now I'm wet from all the rain. <laughs> we actually have some inside oh, stuff we're gonna do today. Yes. We got our Azure Standard order yesterday and we got a bunch of cherries. We're gonna do some cherry canning today. Yep. Sorry guys. More uh, canning. More canning <laughs> to those who aren't really into the canning, but at least there was a small building project there today. Was, was. And it'll be red instead of green this time. The canning? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, lunch has been eaten. Everything is mostly ready. Yeah. Digging out our cherry petters. Yep. Yeah. We're going to sort and destem. A couple people will sort and de-stem, a couple people will uh, do the pitting, pitting yep. the uh, and the then eating. <laughs> says the eating. The eating. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point everybody has eaten so much of the first box, we have three boxes. People are starting to get tummy aches, Aww. so I think the eating of the cherries is going to decrease. Yes, summer is always a good reminder of why gluttony is a sin. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everybody uh, learns that lesson the hard way. You know, me included. like. That's how I am with peaches. If I eat, if yeah. I get some good peaches during the summer, I will make myself sick on them. And then I'm reminded, don't make yourself sick on fruit. All right, I guess uh, I should probably go grab the other boxes. Brett, you wanna come with me and grab the other box? Okay, good ones to use. Need some buggy? buggy. Here, I wanna, I wanna tidy it up a little bit. Nice hair. Welcome to my cabin. <laughs> Uh, yep, you know. All right, just to kind of let everybody see, we are taking them out, sorting them. There's ones that are going to have to be trimmed because they've got like bruises and bad spots. Those are ones that are too far gone. That's where all the stems are going. That's basically like the junk bucket. These are the ones that are ready to be pitted. And then we have the pity guys. Oh, pity guys. Ah, foos. I pity the foo. <laughs> No, no, the foos pity. The foos are pity. <laughs> uh, now we're just confused. So that's that's our modus operandi. And then I guess from there, pitted ones will pile up here until we run out of room, and then... Then it's my job. Then it's your job. Oh, and you. then the wee one is watching Kalaska, as she calls it. Yes. Uh, Simple Living Alaska. It's just a fun show.
All right. We are finishing up what we're gonna do. We have one more box. All of us are tired of standing here. Our backs and legs hurt. We're gonna do that later. Hey, hold your hand up. <laughs> well, high five. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I'm not as bad as you are. Yeah, it's a little intense. It's purple. <laughs> Looks like it didn't stain Jack's hands as bad. Tyler? Gruesome. <laughs> what about your hands? You already washed up. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, and then there's the counter. Yeah, you know what? When we made this island, we had the discussion. Are we gonna like, you know, keep Seal this yeah. sealed and you know clear coated and keep it nice looking, or are we gonna use it? We're gonna use it. So kind of our decision is let's get it, let's do everything on it. Yeah. Let's cut directly on it. Let's process animals. Let's do whatever yep. we need to do. A mountain of cherries, and then we'll look at it in ten years and do a before and after. Yeah. And I bet you this thing looks amazing. This it has stories on it. Here's one, two, three bowls of pits. Yep. This is the waste. So there's some that had like little bad spots on them. Yeah. There's some that, you know, these are organic, so they're not bug free. Right. And some had bug damage. Yeah. So that's okay. out of how, how much is a box? Uh, 18 pounds, so 36 Eight. pounds. So out of 36 pounds, that's the waste. That's not bad. We no. can deal with that. Yeah, I'm not mad. And then we have. A massive bowl there of pitted and a massive bowl there that's even bigger yep. of pitted yeah. cherries. So. so that will be canned cherries. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's yes, a lot. Will. Uh, you want to explain to people, for the new people who weren't with us last year when okay. we did this. So I take the pits and whatever juice and I'm going to put a little bit of water in this and simmer these and get all the rest of the juice, get that pulp that's left on here to break down and then I'm going to strain it and that juice that comes off, I will make jelly. It only makes like three or four half pints of jelly, but it's really good jelly. <clears throat> we'll, we'll do something with it, they won't go to waste. It's uh, it's one of those things like, there is a lot of meat left on those bones. Yeah. And to be able to reclaim that in some way, yeah. it's it's kind of nice. We will turn the waste into bacon or, right. or eggs. Yep. Probably eggs. The chickens Don't will like that. that. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna get simmering, and I honestly will tell you I don't know if I'm gonna get to canning these right now. We'll see. I gotta make dinner, but hopefully. That's okay. Like they're all pitted. They could go in the freezer if you needed to. Yes, they could. That's true. How about I make you a shot of espresso? I would love that. <laughs> I, have a shot of I don't think you need a shot of espresso. It smells really good. It does smell good. It smells so fruity. Well, some of it spilled out onto this. <laughs> oh, that's probably what I'm smelling. Yeah, I made a mess, but. It smells good. That's right. That's just the name of the game today. Oh my goodness. Like, it's like, it's because I just cleaned my stove. It's just everywhere. That's what I Dear sweet, juicy goodness. Yeah. Yeah, it is because you just cleaned the stove. I saw it was so it happens. That's why I don't clean the stove all that often. Hey, you know, it's one of those things. It's like, do you not use the stuff and keep it spotless or do you just have heavy cleaning every once in a while. It's because the stove is always hot because I'm always cooking on it. So in order for me to clean it, it has to be at like 10 o'clock at night after it's like cooled down from the day. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and it is really no joke. She will be out here like a crazy woman at 10 o'clock at night, everybody's in bed and yeah. she'll just be scrubbing the stove. It's like, the rest of the day it's hot. I mean, like I'm using it. When you cook all day long, yeah. as we do, yeah. That's what happens. It's all good. Weird. That's all right. I don't care. We cook in our kitchen. Yeah. We don't just look at it. That's true. All right, I figured I'd better pick up the camera. Meg has whipped up some beef pinwheels. We've done these before. Uh, usually they're with chicken. Uh, these are quite delicious. They are. What are you doing? Are you all right? <laughs> Dying. <laughs> Ridiculous. Somebody's bored. <laughs> Would you stop? Okay. Okay. So yes. usually these are made with chicken. This time you did beef. Mm -hmm. Did I see you putting the rest of that horseradish in? Yeah. There's the. There was like a tablespoon left, so I spread it between all of it and Swiss mustard, mayonnaise, and canned beef. So these are going to be delicious. They are going to be delicious. So they're going to rise a little bit, kind of fill out, and we'll bake them, and then we will eat them. Good. All right. So I noticed that the uh, cherries have not gotten to. Not yet. I'm doing it now. <laughs> Is that what you're doing now? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you know what? You just do it. Get it done. Get it over with. I would be happy to have it 
off my plate. Yes. Yes. Or um, my bowls, as it were. <laughs> off the counter. Do? Yes. Hey, okay. hey, I thought you found something to do. She could hear the sugar. I, that's what it is. Out. She's like, oh, uh, hark. Is that sugar? <laughs> a buggy's favorite thing is sugar. Yeah, it is. So to people who think Meg is just like this, like, all-knowing kitchen wonder, she does use recipes. Is this like the ball this cooking? This is the ball blue. Yeah, this is the ball blue. Okay, the blue book. Yeah. All right. So I cannot keep every single recipe straight. I'll usually reference this one just because it's like quick and easy to find stuff. Um, or the ball big book of home preserving. I think that's what it's called. So this is just your syrup for canning them? Yeah, I'm doing an extra light, simple syrup, and I made a giant batch. I might not need all this for cherries, but that's fine because we're gonna have peaches coming up here in a minute. So any extra will go in the fridge. And we'll use it for peaches. Hi, what are you doing? And then this, whoop, This is the is seeds. Done. And, ooh, that smells good. What I'm gonna do is strain this into this jar and then it'll go in the fridge and I will deal with it later. I'm not making jelly tonight. Now would be a bad time for that tink of a jar. <laughs> so I just kind of work this and try to get some of that pulp through the mesh. Gonna add some body to the jelly. Oh, it smells so good. Doesn't it smell good? It does smell like cherry blossoms. It does. So in the middle of doing everything else, and you're making beef stock. Yeah, so Jason Lorraine so the land he needs to make room in their freezers. So they gave us some bones, beef bones, and I am roasting them. And then once these are all nice and roasted, which they are almost there, I will fill this with water and veg and spices and stuff and set that make stock overnight and then I will can that this weekend as well. <laughs> just pile it on. Just just heap it on. That weekend? Nah. Who needs one hey, of those? I do take my Sundays and tomorrow's Friday so I'll, I'll do it Friday and then my weekend I do actually keep those pretty sacred. To yeah. yeah that's rest. that's one of those things. There's a reason we don't film on the weekend. Yeah. I mean unless we're like already doing something that right. we would like to document but generally keep your uh, your off time. Yeah. Off. I shut it down. Yep. Don't talk to me. I'm reading a book. <laughs> I was reading the recipe for this, and it's like using a non metallic item to push down the cherries gently. Use the tools God gave you. Dry it off, dry it off, dry it off, dry it off. Dry it off, dry it off, dry it off. I see. Uh, pineapple upside down cake oh, yes. on my birthday. I see cherry pie, you yeah. know, middle of November. Yeah, Danish, yeah, it's actually oh, Danish. Cherry Danish. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that's why we do this. Preserve all this good flavor from summer. And then you can just open up a jar of summer in the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. Eat some good food. There's some of the cans that you cracked into this past winter. And I remember sweating and the kitchen being a million degrees and just like, ugh. Yep. And you crack into one of those cans and it's like, oh, it tastes like summer. It does. It does. So these care lids are from Mimi. Are they really? Yeah, she brought them when she came out here because she just had extra canning stuff that she's not using anymore. So she brought it out here. So it's actually kind of cool because... Those are lids that I grew up with, and they're probably as old as I am, actually. <laughs> Chances are, they've been sitting in the pantry for that long. So that's the cur. Yeah. That's right. Last time Mimi came, she brought a whole bunch of canning supplies. She, she passed the torch. 
You worried about it? I am. These aren't like super hot. Just set one in there and just wait. What are you doing? And here is Wonder Woman multitasking. No, not Wonder Woman. Swiss Army wife. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch this. What you got going on, lady? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm already like in my timer. Um, either a jar did crack, or what it sounded like was maybe a lid popped off. But it's like ever so slowly oozing very gently, lightly pink. So that's the only problem with having like a short thing and then you have jars up here. Yeah. If one of them is to break, the water level comes up. It's not like super, super red juice. It's just like light pink. pink. So when the timer's done, I will deal with it. For whatever reason, this canning season is just not. It's fraught, <laughs> fraught with problems. <laughs> My body is ready. Okay, let's good. eat these pinwheels. Well, let's let them cool off for a minute first. No, eat them now. Burn. You can eat them. Burn. Those look delicious. Yeah, they do, and they smell. They smell really, really, really good. I can smell that horseradish. Mm -hmm. quite delicious. Those things are always a hit. They are. Oh yeah. I forget where it was. We went somewhere and I knew I was going to be out all day. And so I grabbed the, the leftover bag of chicken pinwheels. Yeah. And I brought them with us. We ended up being out way longer than we meant to. It was uh, me and the two youngest boys and we were like ravenous. But it was like, oh, we got pinwheels in the car. <laughs> you so survived on we pinwheels. We survived on pinwheels. <laughs> so they're special. Yeah. This is really good. Thank you for dinner. You cooked a dinner on top of everything of else. Somebody's got to feed you. Okay, go ahead. You want to talk? Go ahead, talk. I bring my purple sippy cup and my pink sippy cup. Oh, okay. Alright, All right, so moment of truth. We're going to see if one busted or if the top came off. I bet okay. you one busted. I'm going to do this over the sink. Are you? Just in case. <laughs> Nobody busted. Nobody busted. So that Oh, means... yeah. No, that oh. one's right there. That one I put in first yep. that was cooler. <sighs> Y'all, I swear I'm usually not this bad at canning. <laughs> yep. Bummer. Yeah. And that's a loss of cherries too. I don't know. At least, at least it was only a pint. Not a pint. Yeah, not a quart. Win some, lose some. Yeah. Literally lose some. Yeah. Yeah, that's only like a good fistful of cherries. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Good thing those are little jars. That's frustrating. All right, we're gonna wrap it up right here. So we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.